This video is about relationship among sets for 7th graders. 7th graders, this is your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as fruitful as possible. Prepare a sheet of paper and a pen for answering the exercises. To ensure that you understand and follow through the concepts in the video, just pause and replay the video as needed. Now let's get started. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate sets that are related in terms of their nature and cardinality and determine subsets of a given set. Elements are individual objects in a set. It is denoted by this symbol. For example, a set of malls in Cebu City are we have SMC Side City, Robinson's Galleria, SM City Cebu, and Ayala Center Cebu. Also, cardinality, which is denoted by a small letter N, refers to the total number of elements in a set. For example, our set of malls in Cebu City, how many elements are there? You are right, there are four elements in our example set. Now, let's go ahead. Are they the same? Equal sets and equivalent sets. Universal sets and subsets. Well, look at him. Are you like him? Do you have the same questions as him? Let me show you examples of these sets being mentioned. Here are two sets which are equal. So, the first set has elements 5, 10, 15, 20, and the second set has elements 20, 10, 15, and 5. Now here is an example of equivalent sets. The first set has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and the second set has 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Well, do you have any idea what is an equal set or what is an equivalent set now? Here we have a set of all the colors in the rainbow. This is our universal set for this example. Now, we have here set A which is a subset of our universal set, which contains, that is right, the primary colors of the rainbow. To dig in further about these ideas, let's move on. What are equivalent sets, equal sets, universal sets, and subsets? Let's begin with equivalent sets. Going back to our example, set A has elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and set B has elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Question, do they have the same elements? No, they don't have. What about their cardinality? Yes, they both have the same number of elements. The cardinality of A is 5, and the cardinality of B is also 5. So, what are then equivalent sets? Equivalent sets are sets with the same cardinality. Let me give you another example. Set C with colors red, yellow, blue, that's three elements. Set D with orange, green, and violet, that's also three elements. They may not have the same elements, but they do have the same cardinality. Going back to our example, set A has 5, 10, 15, 20, and set B has 20, 10, 15, 5. Question. Do they have the same elements? Yes, they have. What about their cardinality? Yes, they both have the same number of elements. So, what are equal sets then? Equal sets are sets with 
the same elements. And since they have the same elements, they are... That is right. They are also equivalent. So let me give you another example, set C with black, white, brown, and set D with white, brown, black. See, they have the same elements, and since they have the same elements, they have the same cardinality. Now let's talk about universal set and subset. Remember the box in lesson one, which contains names of places and persons that are related to Cebu City? Now, say we take specific elements from this set, which contains specific qualities. For example, malls in Cebu City. We have SM Seaside City, Robinson's Galleria, SM City Cebu, and Ayala Center Cebu. This big box here, or the box at your left, is the universal set whereas this box at your right is what we call the subset so what is then a universal set the universal set is denoted by a big letter u it is the set that contains all the elements in consideration this is the box or this is the set that contains the elements in consideration and we have here a subset which contains some of the elements in the universal set so again all the elements in your subset is in your universal set what is then a subset a subset is a part of a larger set this is the symbol for your subset Now we have here a universal set. Our universal set have sets inside. And all of these sets are subsets of a universal set. And of course, we have here a null set. A null set or empty set is a subset of any given set. Now, if this is a symbol for the subset, this now is a symbol for not a subset of example this universal set right here contains the colors in the rainbow which are red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet we have set M which contains the primary colors and the secondary colors combined red yellow blue green orange violet set A has red yellow blue set T is a null set and set H contains red, yellow, blue, and black. Now, what is the relationship between set M and set U? That is right. Set M is a subset of set U. What about the relationship of set A to set U? That is right. A is a subset of U. What about the relationship of A to M? That is right. A is a subset of M. If you look at it, red, yellow, and blue is also in set M. Red, yellow, and blue, green, orange, violet. So, A is a subset of set M. What about set T and set U? Now, recall that every set has a null set. And therefore, Set T is a subset of set U. What about set T and M? Again, all sets have null sets. So, set T is still a subset of set M. And set T is also a subset of set A. And set T is also a subset of set H. What about set A? Is set A and set H related? Or is set A a subset of set H? Yes, that is right. Set H have elements red, yellow, blue. Which are the elements found in set A? Red, yellow, blue. What about set H? What is the relationship of set H to set U? That is right. 
set H is not a subset of set U because set U does not have blue and black. What about set H? Is it a subset of set M? Mm -mm. It is not a subset of set M. As again, set M does not have blue and black. Wow, you are getting good at it. Now, this is your turn to show what you got. Instructions, write true if the statement is correct, otherwise write false. Let all the sets, set A, B, C, D, E, and F, be considered in answering numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And let set U, R, G, H, I, J, L, be considered in answering numbers 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now again, if you want to replay this video, just do so in order for you to answer your activity 1.3. And don't forget, please submit your work on time. Can I count on you? Thank you very much. These are what you need to remember. Equivalent sets and equal sets are related according to their nature. The universal set is the biggest set where the subsets and elements are contained. M subset U is read as set M is a subset of universal set U. You just finished lesson 3 of our first module. This has been your teacher. Get involved and keep on learning.